Hi everybody, my name is Yannick Falardeau. I'm an artist of alignment. And I'm here in the Laurentians, where I live. And today I want to speak to you from my heart. If you had told us six months ago that we would be going through what we're going through right now, I don't think any of us could have imagined what was going to happen to us individually and globally. What's difficult, I think, right now is that it's as though the veil has been lifted and suddenly we're witnessing all the places where we haven't put any love or any attention, or any energy. And so, all the places where there is suffering, now it's amplified and we see the suffering on a much, much larger scale. And it's absolutely heartbreaking, whether in our own communities or abroad. When the COVID hit, I immediately thought of my friends in the Dominican Republic. I've had the good fortune of traveling there three times in the last couple of years and I took the time to get to know the locals and, and make friends with them and when the COVID hit I was immediately concerned about them because I knew that if there was no tourism dollars that they wouldn't have any means of surviving, they wouldn't have jobs or money, no savings and probably very little support from the government, although there is some support. So I launched a crowdfunding campaign and we were able to help 77 families in the last week to have access to food to break the famine. But this week, as I'm working to collect more money, I can't help but feel overwhelmed by the task. And I'm concerned because I think that it's only just going to get worse before it gets better because I'm getting messages from people all over the world, in Africa, in Bali, in other island nations. There are many, many, many people right now who have absolutely nothing to eat. And what I've learned by working closely with these people in the last seven days is that these people don't want your charity. They want human dignity. They want to know that they haven't been forgotten because they're humans. They're our human family. My contacts, the people that I've assembled to help me on the ground to distribute food and organize the purchases and everything like that, they're not people that work in humanitarian causes normally. My contact in Punta Cana is an electrician. My friend and... These are all my friends, by the way, in my heart. My friend is an electrician. My friend is a journalist in Igwe. My friend is a school director in Igwe. My other friend is an artist who paints beautiful paintings by the bridge that leads to nowhere in Samana. My other friend is a salesman with his own business in Samana. So these are people that had jobs just like you and me. They had normal lives, families, a home. And when the COVID hit, and the tourism dollars dried up, they were faced with the horrific task of figuring out how they were going to buy food, pay their rent, and take care of their families. This could be you and this could be me. And it is. So what I'm learning is that right now I could be focusing on being angry. I could be angry about the politics, the world politics that places these countries in situations of poverty and dependence. I could be angry about so many things. I don't even want to name those things. I could look at the shadows and complain about the shadows, but I rather, I rather light a candle and I rather tell you about all the beautiful beautiful people that I'm meeting, their hearts, how kind and generous and patient they are. Because even when they receive a small ration, because that's all I can afford right now, is to offer them a small ration that allows them to break the famine. So they receive a bit of rice, a bit of pasta, some beans, a few other things, a can of sardines, a soap, 
so that they can wash their hands. And instead of hoarding this food and, and being protective of it, and no, they go out and they share with their neighbors. They share. We have a lot to learn from these people. I urge you to look around. Help is needed everywhere. And what we need right now is people who can come together in a heart-based way with love and light and take action wherever it is needed. If action is needed in your community, take action. If you feel that you can help somebody abroad, take action. Be present. Stay in your heart. Love more. Fear less. Reach out. Because these families are our families. We're one human family. And we need to help each other out. Thank you.